Hello, Mario here from Fotoots.com. In this video, we are looking at the iMage workspace and iMage panels. The default workspace in iMage looks like this. We have the file window in the middle, we have the media and folders view on the left, and on the right side we have several panels docked in two groups. iMage uses different panels to display information or objects contained in your database. For example, the media and folders panel displays all folders contained in your database. Each panel has a caption bar, which becomes highlighted when you click on it, and displays the name of the panel and one or more icons. With the pin icon, you can switch the panel between fixed and auto hide mode. When you click the pin, the panel automatically hides. This leaves more room uh, in the file window to display your files. To see the panel again, you just click on the panel tab in the stocking bar on the left. And the panel shows up again. This allows you to switch to a different folder, for example. When you click somewhere outside the panel, the panel automatically hides again and leaving more room uh, for your images in the file window. On the right side, you see two panel groups, each group having multiple panels combined in the same screen area. Combining panels into groups makes it easy to have more panels open at the same time without using more screen space. You can switch between panels by clicking on the panel tab at the bottom of the group. With this icon in the caption bar, you can uh, change the panel size to full height, which is very handy if you have panels which show a lot of data. You can quickly switch between the full height and the docked size. You can also change the size of each group by just dragging the uh, resize edge at the bottom of the panel group. This allows you to adjust the panel size exactly to your requirements. If you don't need a panel, you can close it by clicking on the X um, button in the caption bar. This removes the panel from the group. You can repeat that for all panels in the group and when the last panel is removed, the entire group is removed. Like shown before, you can change the docking mode of a panel between fixed and auto hide using the pin icon in the caption bar. Since this is a group, each panel in that group displays in the docking bar with the icon or the panel tab, and you can show individual panels using these icons or the tab. To switch back to fixed mode, click on the pin icon again. To show additional panels, you go to the View menu and there to the Panel submenu. Here you see all available panels in iMatch. For example, to show the keyboard panel again, I use this um, menu entry or the corresponding keyboard shortcut F9K. All panels have a default location and remember the last location where they were placed. This is why the keyboard panel shows up exactly at this position. You can move panels around within the iMage workspace or even let them float, converting them into separate windows to position them on a second monitor, for example. To move a panel, you left-click the mouse into the caption bar, hold down the left mouse button and then just drag the panel around. iMage displays these little uh, docking indicators to show you where the panel will end when you let go of the mouse button. Just dock this panel above the file window or move it to the right side or again below the panel group we already have. If you hold down the control key while dragging the panel and then let go of the mouse button, the panel is converted into a separate window which allows you to move the panel freely around on your desktop or even onto a second monitor. To dock the panel again, just use the same method as before. 
You can also drag a panel directly into a group by using this center icon in these little uh, docking uh, indicators. And now we have added the keyboard panel to the existing group. Let's see this again. I'm going to open the favorites panel using the view menu, panels, and then favorites. The favorites panel opens at the last save position. I can now drag this panel into the existing group to combine it with all other panels. Or I drag the panel using the uh, tab at the position below the file window. And then for example, um, use the app manager panel, the app panel and combine it into a new group. Now we have two panel groups with different panels. I can now drag this group to a different position or close individual panels. The general idea with all this panel magic is that iMatch enables you to customize the workspace exactly uh, how you like it. You can show more panels in different setups if you use a large monitor or you can um, show or combine panels into different groups and then set them to auto hide if you need more screen uh, space for the file window for example or if you work on a small notebook monitor. It usually makes no sense to uh, show all panels or to have all panels offered by iMatch open at the same time because uh, there are a lot of panels and not every panel is used or useful in every context. In most cases, you set up a basic setup which, is, um, which suits your usual workflow and maybe one or two other panel setups for different aspects in your workflow like keyboard editing. Storing and restoring panel layouts is done in iMatch by using workspaces. A workspace stores the size and position and options of all panels and you can save it under a name and recall it later from the menu. Let's see how to define a workspace. In this example, I'm going to use the uh, map panel to display the files in the file window on a map. To show the panel, I go to the view menu, panels, and then maps. This opens the map panel in a predefined position. Works great. Just a bit to give some more room to the file window. Yeah, that's better. So now we have a very large map panel and we also see all our files in the file window. Great. Now to save this as a workspace, I go to the view menu, workspace, save workspace and enter a name, say, Maps. Now I'm just saved on uh, the panel position and the position and state of all other panels. I can now go to the View menu and restore an earlier saved workspace. No panels. And then I can recall the workspace we have just created with our maps. I also use a workspace uh, designed to work with metadata and uh, the quick view panel. Which gives me uh, plenty of space to see and edit the metadata. I can update an existing workspace by just doing the adjustments as needed and then going to view workspaces save workspace and picking an existing workspace name from the list to replace it. Here's another example for a workspace. The keyboard's workspace um, uses a very small file window and a big preview window on the left and the keyboard panel which uses a lot of screen space on the right. This allows me to edit keyboards really comfortably. 
You can create any number of workspaces and update them anytime when your requirements change. If you work with multiple uh, computers, iMage stores the workspaces on a per computer basis, which means that you can have different workspace setups for different computers. This is especially useful when you have one setup with a big monitor and you use iMage on your notebook, for example, with a much smaller monitor.